Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing fine and today I will show you how to render a 3D object with colors. Okay, I am going to render this object and it has 4 sides and all sides are triangles. As you can see, I have marked all the coordinates of vertices and let's start coding. Okay, first let's change our old vertices to new vertices. I have already wrote the coordinate array and let me copy and paste it here. Then we need to change the vertex count in glDrawArrays function and let's change it to 12 because we have 12 vertices. And that's all and let's try to run this. Okay, it looks like we have a 3D object but let's change the camera angle so we can see it better. For that I use helper function called look at from glm library and we have to pass three vectors as arguments. First is the camera position, then the look at position and third is the up vector. Our up vector is y axis. Okay, let's run this. Now you can see it better, we have a 3D object. Okay, next part is adding colors for each side of the 3D object. To do that, first we need to update our vertices array with color information. We use RGB color format and we add color for each vertex and we place it after the vertex coordinate. Then we need to update our shaders. First we need to add another input attribute for vertex shader and I call it color. It is vec3 type so it can hold RGB values. Next we need to pass this color to our fragment shader. So I am adding another attribute called vertex color and it is an output attribute. And in the main function we simply assign the input attribute to output attribute. Then we need to change the fragment shader. I am adding input attribute called vertex color, same as the vertex shader, but the type is input. Then I use vertex color to create output color instead of hard coded red color. Next, we need to add a new vertex attribute pointer to support color attribute, and its index is 1. And we also need to change the size of the vertex as 6 float values because it has 3 xyz coordinates and 3 rgb values. We also need to change the offset of the color attribute to 12 because there are 12 bytes offset to the first color value. We also need to enable the vertex attribute 1. Ok now we can test this. Ok it's working but there is some overlapping triangles. To fix that, we need to enable GL depth test for proper Z order calculations. Okay, let's try this. As you can see, we have the capability to render colored 3D objects. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.